Hello, hello, welcome back guys, mine's here, and today I th thought I'd make a quick video on uh, another style of trading that uh, I often do, but I do it in terms of supplementing my the, the contracts that I do haul. Now, what I mean by that is, so w one of the ships that I do uh, currently run with uh, at times, depending on what I'm running, uh, is the Kaldari Terra, and I'll show you the fit here real fast. I, I do have Kaldari uh, Industrial 4, level 4 I'm working on, level 5. I've got about 12 days, 13 days on that. Uh, and then I can, then this character can sit in uh, Blockade Runner and DST. But right now, as you can see, I can hold uh, 35,207 meters cubed uh, in volume. So... Uh, I've got uh, medium cargo alt optimization uh, ones. I've got three of those rigs. And then I've got expanded cargo holds in all four of the bottoms. And then, of course, I do carry four inertial stabilizers to adjust the cargo um, that I am hauling. So, adjust for alignment time if I, if I can. Now, back to what I'm actually hauling. Now, in this case, I'm just doing what I call a commodity run or a, a trade good run. And you can find these under your regional market, under trade goods. And for hollow reels, you're going to look under consumer products. There's a bunch of other stuff in here. Uh, antibiotics is actually really good. Dairy products, frozen food, hollow reels. And I believe uh, spirits, quaif, not the other spirits. Quaif is also a really good one. Um, but... There's also, I think, electronic parts is also really another one, uh, tobacco products, stuff like that. Uh, but right now we're focusing on hollow reels. Now, I already kind of did a little bit here. Uh, let's see, I bought uh, hollow reels, about 70,000 from an NPC in uh, Mab, Mabnin. Mabnin is actually where I bought them. Uh, but essentially, you when you look these up, what you want to look for is you can tell these are NPCs because they'll, the the expiration dates are uh, 364 days. And essentially, what you're going to do is you're going to buy a sell order, and you're going to sell to a matching. Okay, let's get that right. Matching buy order, which is also an NPC, which you can tell by. 364 days. These are essentially going to match second by second, it looks like. Um, but, yeah, like I said, I bought these here uh, from um, Mabnin 5, or not 5, but it was one of the other uh, stations in the system. And then I was going to truck it all the way over here. And this is one thing that you need to look for is when you do match these orders. So I'm buying 20,000. You don't want to go out six jumps and find out, oh, I can only sell seven, you know, 117, you know, at, at a much larger price. So you do have to, you know, use some uh, common sense, uh, and, you know, doing your math correctly. But th this is, this is the type of thing that I would supplement my contracts with, you know, if, you know, if I was running my Terra and I, you know, and, I, and the contract that I had, the volume was only about 20,000, and, you know, something was nearby in the system or a jump or two out that I can supplement. You know, I might I might go over those two systems, uh, you know, expand out my cargo hold and add some hollow reels. If, you know, uh, you know, there's a, a decent amount of buy order, uh, you know, in, in the system that I, in the direction rather than I'm going. Uh, so this is a really, really good way of supplementing your uh isk per jump so to say so let's let's just kind of use this as kind of a, a quick example here so i jumped uh four jumps from uh mob sorry three jumps from mob mobnin i'm never going to get this name right mob mobnin i keep wanting to say madmen uh I, I did just get done watching that on netflix really good show uh but anyway three jumps four jumps whatever it is i'm going to sell these for uh, a profit here, and I paid sixteen million six hundred and twenty-six three forty-seven for these. So let's go ahead and sell these bad boys. 
Uh, let's see, four, four, seven, eight, four. And I'm going to sell them again. And this is kind of also the nice thing that I like about going to uh, selling to NPCs is these will actually refresh a lot of the times, uh, but the price does often drop. Um, sometimes a, a little bit at a time, but normally after you sell to them for the third time, it will actually start dropping substantially uh, quite a bit. Uh, pretty much to the point where it's you, you, you're better off going out another jump or two uh, to make your profit. So I will sell these again. All right, so let's kind of look at this here. So I paid sixteen six for these, and then my ending sell was nineteen one. Actually, I will say uh, nineteen two. So it's it's really not that bad. We'll ju we'll just say it's like two and a half mil for three jumps. Okay, two and a half mil for three jumps. That's I'd say that's pretty good. All right, especially you know if it's if it's not even something that you were looking to do in the first place and you're just looking to supplement the the contract uh, that you currently have so uh, you know keep that in mind if uh, you know if you're if you're looking to uh, do something like that you got a really good haul uh, and yeah actually I, I think I think that price was uh, I think the profit was actually 2.2 mil because I started out with 70 mil so we'll, we'll just call it a 2.2 mil uh, and profit for three jumps uh, that literally took me 10 minutes to do all right so keep again keep that in mind if uh, if you're looking to kind of supplement your isk per jump uh, another really really good product that I was going to buy here and then take back four jumps to uh, Nagaton was it's also a really good uh, it's a popular one because it's the the margin for it is is actually quite wide if you can get it is Vitak. Uh Vitak is is a uh narcotic. Uh something to note about about uh trucking uh narcotics is you do actually want to check this legal tab and make sure the gates that you're jumping aren't Jove Empire or Society of Conscious Thought. Um, or the NPC, you're not docking into an MP one of these NPC stations because if you see here, if you're caught with it in your ship, in your possession, 450% of the estimated market value, uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't want to be caught with that. But anyway, this one is it actually has a pretty decent margin. Um, I was, my thought was, I was going to buy it here for 8200 and then sell it at Nagaton, but literally when I docked right before I started making this video uh someone had actually sold to this npc because it was 10,200 i think it was 10,200 or 10,100 uh isk per uh per vitak so it's almost a two it's almost a 2,000 uh isk spread which is very very good um a lot a lot of the times the commodities that i, that I truck are normally going to be between about a 50 and 70 or 80 isk uh huge difference huge difference in profit so yeah. Anyway, uh, if yeah, t tell me. You know, let me let me know what you guys think. You know, how how do you guys supplement your your uh, isk per jumps? How do you maximize that when you are running contracts? This is kind of how I do it, but I thought I'd want to share it with you guys. So, uh, if you guys have any other thoughts on maximizing your isk per jump when you're hauling, uh, leave leave a comment down below. Let me know uh, how you guys kind of uh, maximize your isk per jump. So. Until then, I will see you guys next time. Later.